Good morning, my friends. Your friend Velma Hagarvestino here. And you know, this morning we're going to talk about people who drain you. You know, some people are absolute vampires. <laughs> I mean, they drain your energy, they sap you, they, they're always taking and never giving. And you know, th they're those ones that never ask you any questions like, how are you? They're just always telling you how they are, you know? Now, are we to love those people? Absolutely. Are we to minister to those people? Absolutely. But don't let them sap you. You know, when you have a character that is a giver and that has a teaching spirit, as I, I feel like God has given me this gift of teaching, there are those who want to latch on to you and sap you. So really make a decision. You know, God's word says, as iron sharpens iron, the countenance of a friend should sharpen a friend. So as you're sharpening others, be sure you're getting sharpened yourself. I always love what Stephen Covey talked about, stopping to sharpen the saw. You know, like you're so busy sawing that you don't stop to sharpen your saw and then your saw gets dull. So it's the same thing with our life and our character. You know, if we don't stop and let some people sharpen us sometimes, you know, we can get so busy giving and it's wonderful to give. Don't get me wrong. I never want to in any way sound like I'm saying don't give. Oh my gosh, that's the last thing you want to do because giving is more blessed than receiving. But when you keep giving and you never take time to receive, you can burn out real easy and you don't want that to happen. So watch for those people in your life that sap you like that. Keep them at a distance, you know, there is like, like I always refer to it as the, the plants around our house. You know, the flowers, they, they grow out there and they come and they go. You know, they're, they're, they, they die off every year and you have to replant them. Those are the friends, the people that come and go. And then you have the shrubs and the shrubs are, you know, they're more stable. They stay longer and they're, you know, they, they're helpful. But the trees are the ones that you really need. Your trees are your friends your close friends, those people that are rooted in roots entwined with yours that give you as much as you give them. And I don't mean physical gifts. I'm just talking about sharing and sharpening their saw as you sharpen theirs. So be careful of those emotional vampires because they're everywhere. I mean, they are just rampant out there. As time goes on, hopefully they will learn to give and to ask questions. When you find someone that doesn't ask you questions, I always am wary of that. You know, not just a flippant, how are you? But I mean like, so how is your life going? Or what do you do for a living? Or, you know, something that shows that they are interested in you as well. You know, if you're the one asking all the questions and they're doing all the answering, beware, you might have a vampire on your hands. What, a, what an analogy, huh? Okay, you guys, again, this is your friend, Velma Hagar Restaino, and she's bidding you a blessed day and telling you to buy her book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. You guys, that book blesses my socks off, and it does so many people that have it. I have a five-star rating, and I'm really doing well on Amazon, so go take a look at it and buy it. And until next time, bye.